guys uh, on today's video we're looking at vax 10 1s index on the 24 hour chat and then before we get into today's video please uh don't forget to like and subscribe i'm looking at this area here of which we had like a double top and a mass psychology activation around this point and then looking at the top of the structure around this point you can see that we had a nice candlestick formation around here of, of which I always talk about this candlestick formation, even on lower time frames. So what I'll do is that I'll draw the overall structure around here, of which it seems like we're having a expanding pattern like this. And then as you can see at the top of the structure, we have uh, nice touches. We have three touches at the top of the structure even though we didn't get to get like the third touch around this point, but this mass psychology activation was just enough for us to get like those selling opportunities on this one. And then below the structure, as you can see, we have two touches at the bottom of which we expect the market to completely fill this area around here so that we can get like a complete ascending channel or an expanding pattern that is complete with three touches at the top and three touches at the bottom. So, that is what we are targeting at the moment. So what I'll do is that I'll draw like obvious patterns that are visible to the eye so that I can just uh, train my eyes to see those patterns play out each and every time. So we have this nice ascending channel around here. And then we have this descending channel around this point. And then what, I, what I'll do is that I'll just draw like the patterns only like these patterns only and then i'm not going to like uh make a lot of drawings on my charts so switching on the four hour that is where we look for those uh nice setups or momentum so we can just remove this line here and then we have this nice ascending channel around this point let me make sure that i'm catering for the touches correctly and then as you can see at the top of the structure, we had that, that mass psychology activation. And then at the top, we had like a mini double top around here, just like this. And then maybe if you're into like risk entries, you should have uh, taken some type of an entry around here. But knowing that we haven't we haven't tapped this area here for a third touch. So you would be likely get tagged out and then the market will reach this point and then you look for an entry again that will go to the downside so that is how uh, i look for risk entries and that is how i anticipate my moves each and every time so looking at this area here you can see that we have some type of a descending channel whereby when you have like this type of a descending channel most of the time what happens is that you'll get like a running channel at the top of the structure instead of looking for buying opportunities you look for selling opportunities you're moving with the order flow just because we are looking for those pushes to the downside corrective move push to the downside and then that is how the market will be moving so in this uh, scenario here that's what i'm seeing then you'll see that on the lower time frame so we had this smaller version of this descending channel and then we have the larger version around this point so it means that we are still looking for those selling opportunities but in this area here we can still attempt to take like buying opportunities up until we reach this certain point here, whereby that is where we can look for those selling opportunities. Remember what I said, the smaller version of the descending channel and the larger version of the descending channel. All in all, we are looking for selling opportunities on this one. And then let's switch to the hour chart. That is where we can anticipate like entries and all those nice things. So looking at the hour chart, uh, what I was anticipating is for us to get like some short term buys up until like this area. And then you can see that it lines up perfectly with this uh, one, two, and then you have the third touch at the top of the structure of which it can be around here. That is, a, that is where we can look for those uh, selling opportunities. And then the third touch is also in line with the descending channel that we have here. And then the descending channel, remember, it has a 90% rule whereby the market will just get to be uh, corrective all those all the time. So this is what I'm seeing at the moment on this one. And then we can have like a 
area here whereby it's a area of value. And then by saying that, I mean that we must get like a break and then we come back and retest and then we look for those buyers up until this point. And then after reaching this point, that is where we can reanalyze our entries. And then knowing that we are anticipating to get like some selling opportunities. And by anticipating like our entry on this one, uh, we must get like this type of formation happening at this area here. So if we get this type of formation, and the formation is called an ascending channel, as you can see at the top of the structure, just like this, then that is when you can look for those selling opportunities just because we are in line with the one, two, three or multi-touch confirmation. And then another thing that we will be in line with is the double top area. And then we can take the entry just because we are in right areas where we can take the entry, a sell and then a stop just above here targeting the lows for 5.8%, overall target at around 10%. So this is the second entry that we want to see. And then the first entry is just a short term buy for us to get like that larger trade that we are looking for. So let me just do this and remove each and everything. So this is the short term entry that we are looking for. And then our stop loss can be just up below this area. And then our target can be just above here for 5.2. If you want, if you are into scalping, you can just uh take a buy up until like this point, knowing that you are expecting that long term sell up to this point here. So that is it for VX10 one index, and then I'll see you on another video. And then if you want a good broker for you to trade like these instruments, you can just use the link in the description below, and then I'll see you on another video.